this ministry where I, I don't know what else you have to learn. I've taught us everything that has to do with the doctrine of the scripture. But all the service is not enough. And we keep learning until we see Jesus face to face. That is what Christianity is. There's no stage that you said, I have graduated. I can now relax. No. Jesus said, Occupy till I come. Now, I have intentionally not taught us this thing, but I have mentioned it as a mention. Because this thing, uh, this um, guilt, is very robust, it should be dangerous. To many churches, they first present guilt. And people run after gifts, after signs, after wonder. No roots, no maturity, no character, no godliness, and yet they have the fruit. That's why I have grounded you in the Lord. My, my vision is to make you a woman and a man of God that will keep you yielded, that will keep you mature. Then in that state, you can effectively handle the gifts of the Spirit. That's why I have not taught it. That's why I have not made it as something that you should be too much conscious of. And because of the teaching, I will tell you, I will show you why. There are two things I have never put into serious practice in this ministry. One of them is this. Two is the Holy Communion. We have never had Holy Communion. I've taught us about it. And I've told us about the consequences. But I have not really made it on something we look forward to. Because it is also dangerous. If we make it as a practice, it becomes normal for us just like we pray for our prayers normal. Many of us will live in sin and eat that thing in sin, and the Bible says that is abominable. And it's a lonely <laughs> cell in the world. Or you can charge many of them and say that many die from the sickness because they ex the that bread, the communion, unworthily, and they drank that thing, the blood of Jesus, unworthily. So for me, it's to make people get the best of Jesus. It's to make that the best, the best of Jesus. The best of Jesus. The best of Jesus is that you will have a special revelation of Jesus. Is that you special revelation of Jesus? That was what Paul was telling the Ephesian church. And that was Paul was telling the Ephesian church. So I'm going to walk us through. I'll carry you away. So that you will, during the teaching. So that your time is on the way. The way it looks like we were a little overshoot four o'clock. Is this the story late? It's already to three. Because we're almost we have not the aim. We are not performing. So you guys are not going to have your uh, your program for children and for the uh, the teenagers. Teenagers. I hope you communicated. I hope you made it easy to communicate. So from now till then, this is continue this from now. One or two of your kids come here, so let them know. To speak from the young to say hey. So, but I want you to pay attention. Because it's not something you do like this. And it's okay. Because it's okay. The air is blowing from this side. And there is a wind in the the west of this one. Well, it's okay. I think my gift is this. My gift is that. Is that my God is this? My God is that. So you may not be able to know it that way. Must you make? Must you tell me that you don't know it in this manner? But when I teach you, when I give you advice, and you follow the teaching, and you follow the advice. And the biblical examples, and the Bible's then you 
be able to feel and know, and the Spirit will put it in your heart that this is my thing. And I could be full of the Lord Jesus, the face that you have plus the things you have. Spiritual gifts. Face in the cup. And godliness. And holy guide. I may not want to embarrass you. If I ask any of you, especially the prayer warriors, as it is a dead spot to pray, if you do fast, you can get it for you. Could you do fast? Even those who are not the prayer words, some of the enemy the best for the same. If you know the seriousness of what you come to do, as you are you, you will fast. As you see, here's a bit of my lack, but I will fast as good as it will help you. It will help you help. Spiritual gifts, his lechav, and godliness, and golden kai. If you watch very closely, as you look back, there are two G's. There are two G's. And we need to let them walk side by side. Spiritual gifts, the major ones are seven, as I say, which we all know. Faith, healing, miracles, bold and prophecy, speaking in tongues, and also uh, uh, deliverance, discernment, and understanding of God. There are seven. And as I say, how many is the fruit of the spirit. Who is that the fruit of the night? Turn the case. I'm sorry. The um, the uh, the gift is nine. The God is nine. Yeah. Yeah. There are nine of them. The nine. And the fruit, the fruit of the spirit is how much? And how much is that the fruit of the case? Nine. Oh, nine. If you see that, it's important for you to understand that. It is important for you that to begrijp that it is required that it goes hand in hand with. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. It goes hand in hand with the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Any other thing will be very costly. Because all the other things are all costly. Let's quickly open to first. It's it's more of a teaching thing because my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What is knowledge? Teaching. Because my message lies on the gebrek of kennis. What is kennis? Onderwijzing. That is why I see this. Uh, this ministry that we base much on teaching. That we base the beginning is also based on understanding. Teaching is knowledge. It's impartation of knowledge. It's understanding is knowledge. It's participation of knowledge. Many people have gifts, but they do not understand what the gift is all for. They don't understand the gift, but they don't understand the gift anymore. For them, it is just like a talent. That we should give them some talent. There's 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 a fine line between talents. And gifts. There is a line that relates to talent and gifts. Maybe sometimes we mix them up without knowing. And so it brings you into the wrong, in the wrong. Does anybody know the difference? Maybe you know the difference. There's some talent and gifts. Jesus spoke about talents. Jesus has spoken about talent. And he also says something about gifts. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's something about gifts. Yes. 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 Talent is something that God has given, and talent is something that He has developed. All right, I'll give you six gifts. I'll give you six. I'll give you six gifts. Okay, six gifts. Six gifts. I think the five. That is more than six gifts. Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else? For me, talent is something that from you, from your own, and gift is something that you got from God. Dus als je broer zegt, talent is iets wat van jezelf is, en gaat is iets wat van God krijgt. All right, I give you ninety percent. Ik geef je ninety percent. Now, I will give you a good example. Ik zal een goed voorbeeld geven. For instance, Jesus gave them talents. Dus Jesus gaf hen talenten. He gave this one five three one. Five three eight. So that means it's also coming from God. Dus dat komt ook van God. Yeah. Spiritual gifts, geestelijk gaven, also comes from God. Dat komt ook van God. The difference is this. Het verschil is dit tussen deze twee. One is for God. Eentje is voor God. For ministering of the body of Christ. Het is de bediening van het lichaam van Christus. You will see that. Ziet u het? It is meant to run the ministry. Dus het gaat om dat je moet de kerk laten beweging brengen. It is meant to be used. Within the church, it must be in the church to be used. But talents, but talents, and as we also said, you develop 
on your own. That's not necessary. Because you said you will do it by yourself. It's a natural endowment. You are born with it. It is easy with you. For instance, I will have to naturally go to school of music. There are people like that who don't go to school. Because you said there are people like that who don't go to school. They start from the beginning from the child. From the kid, 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 from the kid. You see them playing. They stay in front of the kid. They can take a guitar. It's a question of few hours. They play from the kid. They play from the kid. It will be piano. Oh, but see, when the piano is part in Nigeria, you see me. In the Nigeria, see you from the Nigeria. It's a natural. This is natural. And the parents will want to stop them, say, go and go to school. But the child is always playing music. If they knew those days, their children would have been doing their time. It's the house we need to stop us. It's already that that of in that that we can't be doing something in the world. It's a natural thing. It is natural, my child. Like we know Michael Jackson. Because we know Michael Jackson. It's natural. It's natural for me. But the only thing that the enemy will turn it around. And it will be dry that all. It will be fire itself. Or the self to create. We have people gifted with good voice. Or less gifted with a good stem. But they use that voice to sing for Satan. But they bring the stem to sing for Satan. If they turn it around to sing in the church, as the omkeer is singing in the kerk, it will be glorified God. And the Satan will be healed. And God will add gifts to it. And God will come to that place. And the gift will be anointed. And the gift will be anointed. When they were singing for Satan, when they were singing for Satan, nobody will resist their voice. They will dance. Nobody will stop the stem. But if you bring Michael Jackson, the but same Jackson, to the podium and he is born again, but you saw the Michael Jackson on the podium bring and he is very good. When he sings with the anointing, with the presence of the Holy Spirit, people will be weeping and crying. Because when he is singing with the power of the Holy Spirit and the salvation, people will be weeping and crying. That is the difference. And that is the difference. Some people naturally they are good with teaching. Let's say some of them naturally they are good in education. They may end up being teachers. They are end up as education. Teaching the education of the world. It is the education of the world. That is their talent. That is their talent. Turn that professor around. Make him the 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 head of the man. Make him read the scripture. Let him read the Bible. When he interprets the Bible. When he interprets the Bible. With the gift of the Holy Spirit and his natural talent. With the help of the Holy Spirit and his natural talent. He will not resist his teaching. That is the only way he can stand. But today I want to lead us to. How we can be able to know the gift? And we're going to put on the way to where the God we can attend. Let's open up to First Corinthians chapter twelve. Slow my own. One Corinthians chapter twelve. We're going to read from verses one to eleven. We're going to read verse eight to eleven. Somebody read for me. We're going to read from one Corinthians chapter twelve. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You see, it is important for you to know. That Paul here, there are few places Paul keeps saying, "I will not have you ignorant. I will not have you ignorant." Is it going to be obeyed to bend? You see, when he was telling the people about rapture, he was telling them also, "I will not have." He was telling the Thessalonian church, "I don't want you to be ignorant." So I can tell you the message that the Thessalonians says that you will be going to be obeyed to bend. When Paul used, when he wants to write people, and he uses the word ignorant, he wants to. Emphasize on the seriousness of what he's about to say. Because when I speak, scribe, and I bring the book obedient, I will get deep to open it up. What the book said. Go ahead. You know, you know that you were Gentiles, carried away unto the dumb idols, even as you were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is Lord. But by the Holy Ghost. Now, I want you to understand the what Paul was trying to say to the Corinthian church. Is it good that you begrijp what Paul is going to say to the Corinthian church? He has already told them how to behave in the church. And he has told them how to behave in the church. But some of them were idol worshippers, and they borrowed some of the disposition, the lifestyle of the Corinthian church. But some of them were idol worshippers, and they borrowed some of the disposition, the lifestyle of the idol worship. Unknowingly into the church. The sum of their daily living was outgoing. We said that that the body lives of an outgoing life in the church of God. And one of the things he says, "Hey, what did I say?" He says that. Let me tell you how you will know who is filled or who is fed up or who is being anointed or who is under the spirit 
of the Holy Spirit. That no one who has the Holy Spirit can say Jesus is a curse. That means somebody to curse Jesus cannot happen. Cannot happen. If you have the Holy Spirit, as you have the Holy Spirit, it will never happen. It cannot happen, and nobody, and no man, can say, can say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is here, except by the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Spirit. So then, what is he saying? Is what said Paul is here. He said you cannot see a Buddhist come around and say Jesus is Lord. For them, it will they will struggle with that. So you cannot put this in the same sentence. Jesus is here. To religious people, they will argue that Jesus is not God. So sometimes don't get angry. The source must be boastful. Why? Why? When you have the Holy Spirit, it is the Holy Spirit that will make you to say Jesus is Lord. Is the Holy Spirit you must to say Jesus is here? Now he has already told them the efficacy, the power. Of the Holy Spirit, so I have to tell the Christ for the Holy Spirit. So the next thing he's going to do now is to begin to tell them how the Holy Spirit work, works, and as much as the God had worked together in harmony. So the fourth point is now how the Holy Spirit works, and as much as the God had done with the three samenwerken. Now, read. And we are meant to understand that the gifts is from the department, if you can permit me that, of the Holy Spirit. As we can understand that the gifts are from the department of the Holy Spirit. Can somebody give me the book? Can anyone give me the book? 